It's Lanka, what's going on? This is Malik Pai, and I did a project with the family, mainly myself, to uh, stain my deck. And I must say, it is looking beautiful. So I want you to follow this journey from start till finish, and I'll show you step by step how I made this project happen. Here we go. <laughs> First step is everyone says it and it's, it's so true because you won't even realize it especially if you haven't washed or stained your deck for like years it is getting a lot dirty so the first step is to make sure you wash it and your normal tap that you use to uh, you know water your plants or your grass is not gonna work what you need is a pressure washer now a lot of times people say that you need like 3,000 psi which is uh, basically uh, a number for pressure but uh, what I'm using is this 2200 and I must say it was more than enough. Now, what they give you is, is they give you these nozzles, okay? So it's very easy. Basically, uh, when you connect it, you put this nozzle on this, um, um, on this pressure washer and uh, here's what basically is your normal tap, okay? This guy right here is, uh, is, has a lot of pressure. And this thing is basically if you want to just destroy your deck, use this red. I would say stick to the green color and I'll show you even with this green when I was close to the um, to the deck, right? It made it literally like, uh, of course, it's taking off the paint, but it is also uh, it could basically uh, could, could be breaking the wood as well. So you don't want to be too close, but 2200 PSI with green nozzle should be more than enough. Just cleaned up the whole deck with my 2200 PSI pressure washer by Craftsman. Oh man. Tomorrow when it dries, then I'm gonna end up uh, staining it. So here we are on day one. Uh, after A day after I was done uh, washing the whole deck. So, uh, you know, once I use a pressure washer, it actually scraped off the stain that was already on it. And you can see that lower deck, uh, it almost looks like uh, the actual color of the wood. So there was like a light brown stain that was already on it. God knows how long it had been there, uh, but I made sure that it's all clean, all the dirt is gone. And I started off by uh, uh, the top portion. Uh, like I said, all you need is a brush and a bucket of paint. And I used uh, a darker color. That's what I like. It's something different. Everybody has uh, a somewhat of a shade of a brown, but I wanted to pick a little bit on the darker side. This is actually called Dark Slate. Now, once you get started, you will realize that it's not as easy as uh, uh, painting your, your walls. There's four sides to the rail, and uh, not just what you see in front of you, right? So uh, right now, I only got three sides done, and there's still uh, you know back of the, the deck as well, which I'll have to put a ladder up and, and do it. So it, the majority of the time is actually on the rail. The floor is actually just probably within an hour or two you'll be done. But look, you can see uh, this is like the second day or so and I'm still just doing the, the rail. And uh, here now and then I'll get some visitors and just to talk to you. So I really encourage you to make sure that you get somebody to help you out uh, or somebody just to be around because it's not, it's not something that's uh, going to be a quick and easy job and uh, make sure that you uh, clean up on any dust that, that's there before you uh, get to the floor. So I started using a roller first and I gave up. Roller was not something that I actually liked. You can try it out, especially the bigger roller. Later on, I switched to a one inch roller, but just the normal uh, size roller that you use for your painting your wall, that did not work out at all. Especially, this is wood. Once you go through the roller, uh, there's still gonna be some spots that you're gonna miss, miss especially inside the group. Uh, you know, the uh, uh, the parting that you have between uh, two pieces of wood, uh, you will not be able to reach there through uh, a roller. So the best thing is just use a brush. I mean, I did not save any time using a roller, so I just switched the brush. Uh, now you can see that uh, the top portion has been done. Now this, I must say, this is probably day five or six. Uh, could be a quick job, but um, for me being one man show in the beginning, uh, it took me some time. So you can see that it turned out very good. I'm done with the top portion uh, and only just the what you see in front of you. There's still the back side of it. And, and that's when I started a day after that, started painting the 
uh, the back of it as well. Uh, now you can see uh, there's a lot still left. Uh, there's staircase as well. Uh, but for most of you, you might have just one deck and it might be smaller than what, what I have. You would have been done by now. You know, you might not even have a staircase that leads to your backyard. It's just a top portion on your, on your, uh, from your kitchen or from back of your house, you know, into your patio. But you can see there's a lot of railing that I had to do, a lot of stairs, uh, and of course the floor. And later on, I got some help just, uh, maybe for like an hour or so. And, uh, but, and that helped out a lot, you know, and that's when I strongly encourage everyone to make sure that you get some help and uh, do not think that this is just going to be a day job. It, it might take you a couple of weekends. It might take you, you know, three, four days, but, and it's mainly because of the raining. I cannot stress enough how painful that part is. Uh, but at the end, it's going to be very rewarding. This might be the second last day that's left and I actually got some great help and uh, you can see we've switched to a one inch roller. I, I thought that was a lot better than using the bigger roller that we use for the wall. So I continued doing the rail and I had some help to do the, the floor. So the whole bottom portion, um, the bottom deck, the whole floor was done um, uh, by my boy. So uh, I don't know where I'm at, I'm just taking a, a breather because uh, it's not easy. <laughs> it is painful and as you can see, uh, he's also wondering uh, why did I sign up for this. But at the end, um, both of us came in, we're almost there, we can see the light at the end of the tunnel and this is how it looks. <laughs> But at the end, I love the project. I don't think it's rocket science. It just takes some, some time, some work. And uh, make sure you do with your family. Make sure you get some help. Uh, paint bucket. Uh, and then of course you got some brush and a one inch roller. I think that's super important. And then uh, that's pretty much it. And the pressure washer. Even if you have to invest money or rent it, make sure you don't forget the pressure washer. Uh, if you want to take it to the next level, make sure you sand the whole thing down so it's smooth. I wanted a little bit of rustic look, so I didn't sand it down. And that's pretty much it. And then just start painting. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you subscribe or follow. And uh, don't forget to share. And uh, hope to see you next time with another video, another project. This is Malik Pai. Assalamualaikum.